you know, the goal of our Greenovation project was twofold. We wanted to create an energy efficient and healthy living space. Check out how our design team went above and beyond in selecting sustainable and healthy products for our home. This house is very well constructed. Uh, it even surpasses in some areas what's required by code today. From day one, designer Jim Lucia agreed our 40-year-old horse farm had good bones. I saw a diamond in the rough, just begging to be brought back to life. When I walked around the outside of the home, I saw a good scale, good proportion, good massing, so I knew I had plenty to work with there. On the interior, the walk through there showed me that typically the same thing that I do with houses of this era is that I do more with less. Taking out walls, sharing spaces, creating new vistas, by removing those barriers, you bring the house into the 21st century. There are a lot of challenges when it comes to transforming an existing older home, but it is doable. Beyond revitalizing the interior and exterior design, our goal was to make it as energy efficient as possible, incorporate reclaimed and recycled products, and at the same time create a healthy indoor environment. What drove you was efficient. Basically, I don't want an electric bill, so which is a great, great goal to have. The indoor air quality of the house, and that using low VOC products, easy to achieve and then showing people that green can be sexy from a standpoint of there's some really good looking stuff in this house. And whether it's the cabinetry or the countertops or the recycled glass tile, there's some good looking recycled products. So we can take that waste, so to speak, and turn it into materials that not only you can reuse, but you would want to reuse. We could do a quick flashback to what this old house looked like. The entryway when you or when guests would come to approach, it was kind of confusing for a while as really where, where should you go? This way, that way, whatever. What I wanted to do with this um, gable element here and the columns is to define a place where there would be no question that people arriving at the house knew where to come and, and you know enter into this beautiful environment. I guess the biggest challenge were these walls, because this is the master bedroom closet, right. and the, on, the, on the other side is the, um, the guest bedroom. Mm -hmm. We really didn't want windows on that side. The original material was vertical cedar boards with so, some decorative terracotta pieces in between them, and they covered the whole face of both of these hip areas. A lot of people thought it was a foreclosed home. <laughs> well, it did kind of have the, give one the impression of being boarded up. The shutters are Azek and the black hardware really contrasts with them and offset them and make them look great. This little vignette right here, simple as it may be, just represents some beauty that we've taken and, and correspondingly done the same kind of vignettes all around the whole front of the house. Thank you for bringing this old house to, to life again. Doing a project like this, as you know, is just so satisfying and it's infectious. And I appreciate the fact as well that we're gonna do continuing education classes. It's not just a green design per se. I mean, it's a whole green machine. If you'd like more information about this segment or any of the topics you've seen on today's show, be sure to log on to our show's website, yourlifetv.com. If you have any specific questions, click the Ask the Experts button and ask away. We'll be right back. <laughs>